The Windsor Dream Lift to Disney World was described by one young girl as the best day ever. Nearly 70 kids started their adventure at 4 in the morning at Windsor Regional Airport waving goodbye to their parents for the day to travel to the Magic Kingdom. There were a few tears and a lot of smiles as parents like Terry Danu, mother of nine-year-old Brody, said goodbye. For many of the kids, it was their first trip away from home. He thinks it's great, especially because uh, his brother's never been, so <laughs> it's always a one-up on your brother, right? <laughs> but he's really, really excited and um, he's really aware that this is a great opportunity for him to get to go and do this kind of thing. Over 100 volunteers made the trip possible with some Windsor police officers volunteering early in the morning and late at night to help get the 38 children in wheelchairs on and off the plane. Most have probably not traveled and uh, it's difficult sometimes. We have 38 children today who are in wheelchairs so just getting them um, you know, sort of physically through that process can be tricky. Uh, what's the day like? I mean they're, they're not in school so that's the first bonus is that they get a, a day off to go and just be a kid. Um, Disney's a wonderful place, it's very accessible, the staff are really well trained, so they make sure the kids have an amazing time, um, and it's really all about the child. After travelling by bus and ferry to Walt Disney World, the kids got to set their own agendas for the day, which included lots of rides. I'm going on this big train ride. And meeting the Disney princesses. Volunteers like Carrie Cosman, a pediatric nurse from Windsor, says she can tell this will have a lasting impression on eight-year-old Bridget, who she has worked with for many years. I think this is something that's extra special for Bridget. She spends a lot of time in hospital. This isn't something that I think is just a pick up and, and go to Disney like it is for some other families. Um, but like a lot of the kids that are on this dream lift today, this is something that takes a lot of extra special planning and a lot of extra special work. Even volunteers like Jimmy Wise from the Drug Enforcement Administration in Orlando says this is something he will remember forever. My kids are grown and out of the house, and um, it's just a. I just think back to them, and I and I'm thankful for my blessings, and I want to help. The trip was made possible through the fundraising efforts of the Neo Man's Charities and the Windsor Corporate Challenge, raising $160,000. Maureen Rive, BlackburnNews.com.